finally that time of year and spring has finally come. Unfortunately, although we love to have the warm days and the nice weather, uh, it also brings along a common, uh, a common uh, medical issue, which are allergies. Uh, allergies, also known as hay fever, uh, allergic rhinitis, seasonal allergies, affect quite a few people. Two million missed school days and three million missed work days uh, are due to this most common chronic disease, uh, allergies. Allergy symptoms include having a runny nose, sneezing, watery eyes, sometimes discharge in the eyes. Uh, and as physicians, we often talk about the allergic salute. That comes when a, a child often rubs their nose and they get the crease right over their nose. And sometimes they get what we call aller allergic shiners beneath the eyes. The most common causes of allergies are actually environmental allergies. Those include pollens. Oftentimes in the spring, we have tree pollens. We have weed pollen and grass pollen. Uh, those all create a response in the immune system, which creates the allergic symptoms that we've discussed already. In addition to those outside in the environment, uh, we have internal environmental uh, issues. Those include dander from animals, cigarette smoke, and things that, uh, that you can encounter inside the house. Diagnosis of allergies is dependent upon a physician or a health provider's examination of a patient. In addition, uh, there are tests which can be performed which may be helpful. At times, we can do skin tests uh, for specific allergy antigens. We can also do testing with a swab inside the nose, looking for specific cellular changes, and blood tests can be helpful at times. Once a patient is diagnosed with allergies, uh, treatment is typically uh, very effective. Uh, there are medications uh, which can be taken, and avoidance is one of the mainstay of treatments uh, to help your allergy symptoms improve. Visit LincolnFamilyMedicine.org to learn more about allergies.